I'm here with Marcos Baghdadis. As you know, the super Cypriot star. Marcos, you know, the first time I saw you, I wasn't a journalist at the time, but I queued up outside with my son, my nephews, and we saw the game versus Hewitt. I don't know if you remember us. We were standing, at, sitting at the front, and we were shouting your name every break. And that was the first time I saw you when you beat Hewitt, and then you went on to the semi-finals. I don't know if you remember. Obviously, you do remember that yes, game. Yes, I remember that day, but uh, I mean, uh, I remember not the faces for sure, but I remember there were a lot of, uh, I mean, Greek Cypriots and Cypriots around here in London that time, and. Yeah, thank you for reminding me that, and uh, it's a pleasure to see you again, I guess. Uh, you no, know, it's always going to be my heart and my kids heart and my nephew's heart. Thank but so on a serious note, I mean, you're retiring now. You, you look like a rejuvenated person. You've got so much to give to tennis, to sport, to the community, the future. What does the future hold for Marcos Baghdadis now? Right now, I don't know, you know. Myself, I have a family, uh, I have two, two beautiful daughters, so my wife, and we're expecting a third child. So right now, I, I didn't really think about what's, what's my future. I, I think the most important for me right now is take care of my family for, for the next month and, and see and see what's, uh, what's, uh, what's going to come up and um, also what really I want to do because for me it's very important I'm that kind of person that I need to love what I do and uh, for me to, to do that I need to really think um, about what, what I would love to do, you know, and uh, that's the most important thing for me and uh, for me to achieve that it will maybe need some time. Well, thank you very much, Marcos. I wish you and your family continued success and happiness. Thank you so much. Thank you.